have an incredible um, talk in front of a large group of people here. And there was a lot of stuff you, a lot of information you gave out. But there was one thing that just got me like, oh, oh nasty inside. You were telling everybody there's pus in milk? I can't believe that. The pus in cow milk, yes. Everybody should know that cow milk is loaded with pus. In the Dairy Hordesman, about seven months ago, they actually did an article, did a study on the pus content in cow milk. And I'm sure everybody is sitting on the edge of their seats, want to know which state won we the pus We want to know, battle. we want to know. Great state of Florida, 19.4% pus wow. in cow milk coming out of Florida, 19.4%. But every state had pus, anywhere from 3.4% to 19.4%. And people should know why there is yeah. pus and other foreign objects in cow milk. When they hook the machines up to the udders, it usually shocks the animal, causing mastitis. Infections will form. So when they're sucking the milk out, guess what else gets sucked out right with it? Pus mucus, scabs, sores, infections, and uh, by the way, I didn't get to say this during my talk, but I want to make a challenge to people because a lot of people thought pasteurization made it all better. Right. I'm telling you right now, pasteurization does nothing to eradicate pus and other foreign objects, but if you believe pasteurization makes it all better, I'll tell you what, tomorrow, go to your grocery store, you pick it, go buy your gallon of milk, get an organic gallon of milk, whatever the hell that might be, take it to the laboratory of your choice, and I'll trust you with a phone call or an email, Gary Tofu at earthlink.net. If that comes back from the laboratory without pus and other foreign objects in there, next time I'm in town, I will eat a steak sandwich.